we're pretty much sticking this in every deck since it's the new hotness right now. This was a deck that Spike ended up playing um, two days ago, three days ago. This is a similar list anyways. He was playing four copies of Bloodbraid. I'm playing three copies of Bloodbraid and Escape Shift. I think the rest of the main deck is the same, and I fixed up the sideboard a little bit. Added one Endurance, cut a Ratchet Bomb. We're going to try it like this. This looks like an interesting list. I want to see how Nissa performs in an Escape Shift shell with Valakuts and Dryads. Does she do anything after the first two Landfall triggers? She adds mana all the time with every single Landfall trigger. So I'll try it out. Yeah, I think Nissa is probably better off in a Ren and Six shell. Ren and Six and Nissa, it's like PB and J. They just like, they mesh so well together. Layers of flavor <laughs> curve out perfectly into each other. It's also changed the soundtrack up a little bit. Ilko, thank you for the follow. I appreciate that. Nothing makes me happier than pinging a Raghavan on two. Yeah, why is Primetime not an elf? Giant Elf, new archetype unlocked. I think, was it Kroxa and Kuranos? They're a giant dog, which is equally hilarious to me. Giant dog. I think I bolt this and then ping. Because it's going to grow. Pass the turn. Yeah, I wish that card was better too. Love me a giant dog. Giuliano. Pick up the fetch land, play another Valakut, pass the turn. It wasn't good, but it was cool. Yeah. That's pretty much the vibe I got from the card also. It wasn't good, but oh boy, was it cool. Bloodbraid Elf. Into Fabale. I wonder if we're playing Nissa. You've been seeing mad ads on all your sub streams. Bob said that too the other day. Which is really weird because that's definitely not supposed to happen. I drew the fourth Valakut. Yeah, it's maybe one too many Valakuts. No. No. Devastated. Need to rip another Titan now. Oh, you are not another Titan. He's going to get ulted by Lily. All right, I lost. That was such a good thought, Zs. Veil of Summer in Endurance. Maybe Force of Vigor since they're playing Saga. I'll take the Force of Vigors instead. Let's listen to a ton of Mega Man music. This is fun. Alright. We gotta cut a lot of cards here. Probably two Dryads. Two Search for Tomorrow. One Fury. Bloodbraid Elf seems good against them. A couple of Bolts. Well, it has like diminishing returns against them. Let me try this out. Not stoked by the double explorer. Probably okay. Maybe instead of Force of Vigor, I wanted to bring in Basaju. But I, I doubt they'd run Blood Moon with Saga. But I've been scarred ever since M. Hayashi was playing that Blood Moon Saga deck. That ruined me. Alpine Moon.
Probably gonna end up casting Bloodbraid Elf next turn. Armor Grief. Or Nissa. Get red, crack it, get green, cast explorer. Yeah, this is probably going to take over modern. I agree. Explorer's free here. A shotgun ends only three mana. Am I going to need the. I don't think I'm going to need the extra mana next turn, so I'll just put this in play tapped. My hand's kind of clunky. Kind of evoked Fury to kill Tarmogoyf, but I don't think it's necessary at this point. 3 4. They attack with I get the Bloodbraid kill Lily. I can just Fury the Goyf away. I think I'm just gonna Bloodbraid though. Fail a summer, perfect. That's just good deck building. Can't be countered now. <laughs> Holy shit. Alright. Can't be countered now. Maybe I should have just feared the Tarmogoyf. Tarmogoyf's kind of big now. Just immaculate deck building. What are you bolting? Try to play Ponza. It's hard to play Ponza. But yeah. Hmm. Prime time. Good blocker. I have another Liliana, I'm dead. As they go Edict Dash Ragavan and kill me. Fable doesn't kill me. Alright. Force of Vigor off the top. Search for tomorrow. Notably not Force of Vigor. So... I'm gonna have one left over. To reaway these two. I guess we're just gonna cast Search for tomorrow and pass the turn. Get Basic Forest. Not that it really matters. I don't think attacking with the prime time does all that much here. I'm not going to. They discarded red and six. Fair enough. Veil of Summer. Alright, let's start with Bloodbraid Elf. See what she finds me. Found me a Dryad. Not great. Let's get Valakut Stomping Ground. Killed my Titan. Double Dwarven Mind. Dwarven Mind actually doesn't trigger off a Titan because it needs to enter play untapped. If it enters play untapped, then you make the token. But if it enters play tap, you don't make a token. So, I wouldn't have made tokens if I got Dwarven Mines. Yeah, it's the way it's worded. Worded very specifically. Shadow Spear. Equip. Yeah, it's Paper Play. Send in with the squad. Alright, they gave up. They have surrendered. Veil of Summer being in my deck makes me not want. Bloodbraid Elf at all. Thinking about cutting the Bloodbraid Elves. Yeah, I think I'm gonna cut these. Let's play more Dryads instead. Seems like a Dryad and a Besaidu. I still want the Force of Vigor. Especially if they're gonna have Alpine Moon. Yeah, Titan Shift is now a hero deck. Titan Shift has been between a villain deck and a hero deck for such a long time. Tan is a little bit sketchy, but I'm gonna keep it. I believe in my ability to draw a green source in two turns. They have a Ragavan on one. I might have to Fury it. Maybe the Alpine Moon. Oh, just cast the Inquisition. Now they see my shitty hand and they probably take my Ren. 
And my hand's not good, opponent. Oh, I made it a little bit better. Facts don't care about my beliefs. Not at all. They brought in Haywire Might. What they brought in Haywire Might for? <laughs> I wish I could play you. But that's fine. It doesn't hit Dryad. Dryad's a creature. Gonna bend this dwarf in mine. That prismatic omen. There you go. Maybe. I think I'm gonna cycle this veil. I gotta hit my land drop this turn. Unfortunately. Yeah, it's possible they just don't know about my and they're like thinking I can hit Dryad. I might bolt my Ren here. Little do they know, I have no more lands. So, I want to gamble the Explorer. I explore and I hit an untap land. Means I can play Dryad. I just play the Dryad. I can get a Dwarven mine when they go to Edict me. There's two in the list, right? I gotta double check now. There's two in the list. I think I probably just go Dryad and then Dwarven Mine when they go to Edict Me. It might be a little bit safer. Is it 2017? It kind of looks like it, right? Just Titan Shift against Liliana of the Veil. Vale. Jund. Good times. Doom Wake. Thanks for the huge raid. I hope you had a wonderful stream. Did you play Modern and Pioneer today? Still holding out that copium? Either way. Take my fury, makes sense. Edict me. They walked right into the second dwarven mine. Which is gonna come into play untapped because of the dryad. This means I actually get to make the token. Still attack me with the Tarmogoyf too. Alright, explore here. Explored into a land. Pretty shocked that I didn't play Nissa. Back Lily. They jump. I'm gonna plus Lily. Get the Titan out of my hand. Original, thank you for the follow. I appreciate that. I imagine they jump and then they plus Lily. Okay. They let it go, but they're still gonna plus Lily. I don't play the Tangled, no. Kind of good tech, though. Can you find a land sometimes when you need it? Yeah, oh, that's a really good draw for them. Like a really, really good draw. Rose. I will go to four. All right, question. What do I value more? So I can force a vigor, kill Haywire, Alpine Moon. And I can kill Liliana, but then I have to chump this Goyf. I think I'm chumping with the Nissa and keeping the Dryad around because a fetch land would kill the Tarmogoyf, assuming they draw nothing. I think that's the move. Are they going to try to exile my Dryad, I wonder? Oh, it actually doesn't kill it now. Does that change things? Did pump up to a 7 8. Does that mean I want to? Attack with Nissa, block with the Dryad. I think it means I want to block. I want to block with the Dryad. Buff Gall. They can't exile it with Haywire Might. Haywire Might's is non creature. Now, if this were a paper tournament, they definitely could try. Ugh. That was. That was really good. Pretty, pretty good. No, Apex sponsors the stream from time to time. Whenever I do the doghouse tournaments, they usually sponsor it. I don't think we have any outside there. Womp womp. Yeah, I need them to break there. I think even if they break there, 
Still don't have any outs, really. Tarmogoyf is pretty good against the red-green deck. Frank, thank you. Uh, thank you. Appreciate that, Frank. Welcome back for the 10 big buns. I think we're going to go Shock, search for tomorrow, Suspend, then play Dryad on 3 with Land. I don't really want to lead on Forest here. Leading on Forest could be problematic. <laughs> Creativity for 3, get 3 Tarmogoyfs. GG, shake my hand. I will say Tarmogoyf got a decent amount better now that decks have stopped playing Dress Down for the most part. I should have actually played Mountain there. That was a mistake. I just talked about not wanting to play the Forest, and I played the Forest anyways. Yeah, I mean, less less and less decks are playing Dress Down. I think that's helping out Tarmogoyf a considerable amount. So when you get the Dress Down to Tarmogoyf, it's just... As long as you've ever had a sub for somebody, I'm flattered. I guess I play my first land drop and then I play Dryad. Get my guaranteed second land drop if it resolves. I guess I would get both no matter what because I'm retaining priority. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. This line plays around days, true. Plays around four spike and sensor. Doesn't play around a Merc Tide Regent. Saddest double bolt. Necessary double bolt, but I really didn't want to do that. Having to two for one myself feels bad, man. Alright, now we're in the Titan waiting room. Ground the lock. It's kind of aggressive. Maybe I shouldn't be getting in for these chip shots since they are playing Shadow. But maybe this encourages them to play like a 2-2 Shadow or something. A little bit more mopey. I guess it'd be a 3-3 Shadow. They just don't have Shadow at all. Titan. I mean, I'm a cast it. Imagine if they got to drown that instead. Would be pretty good. I guess they wouldn't have gotten to. Because I get to Ren pick up the land and I have five cards in my graveyard. Yeah, I think drowning the Ren was pretty meh. But again, I don't know how weak their hand is. Their hand might just be super weak. Dismember. Dismember. Which member? Hmm. It must have drawn that off the top. I think I'm going to play out this Fury also. Alright. They gave up. Veil of Summer says counter your entire deck. Endurance is decent. Force of Vigor. All of this just seems unnecessary. And we're bringing in the Veil, so I'm going to take out the Bloodbraid Elf, because that's just a nonbo. And I can probably cut two search for tomorrow and explore. They're a deck without Blood Moon, so I think they're going to struggle in this matchup. Strongly believe that the Blue Black Murktide deck is the worst deck in the format. It's not great. It's definitely not great. Xenowan, I need you to work on Glimpse again. I tried Nissa and Glimpse, and it was, like, so good whenever I got Nissa during the Glimpse. I don't know how to build the rest of the deck. I escape shift at one. It's just an alternate win condition for when Primeval Titan gets, like, Necromantia or whatever. It's like running one transmogrifying creativity. It's just there to hang out, be a one of, draw it whenever. I just feel like playing that over the fourth Bloodbraid Elf. I don't think Bloodbraid's all that good in this deck. Yeah, Ness is legendary. And needs a fetch land. I'm gonna keep it.
All right, this hand needs a Ren and a fetch land now. I have a weird feeling that they're going to take my Ren. Just a sneaking suspicion. Nope, they took my Endurance. Which means they probably have another discard spell. Oh no. The third Nissa. Track fetch. Play the worst Merc out of all time. Mm hmm. Apt green source. I'm about to die to the worst Merc out of all time. I think in terms of elves, Bloodbraid is probably the best elf. I just have two, two, three pairs. Orvar is the best elf. Technically, yes. I think after this, we might play Esper Flesh. Depending on how much time we have left. Another Merc Ted. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, Dingo's in danger. I give up. I did not draw a single land. That wasn't a stupid sheltered thicket. Here we run it back. This is the Esper deck. I got it from Bob. I don't know if it came from like Dak Faden or something. But it's got like Snapcaster, Errant, and Giada. Sl Slither Wisp. Oh boy. This looks like a pile. Yeah, I might try it out after this. Sure. Hitting land drop. Something I didn't do last game. Don't laugh at Slither Wisp. He's trying his best. Here is its habitat. Sanity, its prey. Unplayable, it is. I like the one Shadow of Doubt in the deck. Hotsies. Got my lightning bolt. I did not keep a good hand opponent. That was a good draw. Yeah, it's. I completely agree. It's very hard to achieve a realistic land to spell ratio. With a deck like this. Although, I do like Search for Tomorrow and Denis on 3. And immediately get me to play Fetch. Gasoline. Let's go green because I'm going to get a mountain. Threw me a fury. Your turn, opponent. That's a very good turn. This is very strong. She's just mini Omneth. But instead of gaining you life, she just draws a card. <laughs> just like arguably more impressive than Omneth to a degree. Draws you an impactful card. Endurance you, play a land just for the hell of it. Yeah, it's like Tireless Track, her and Lotus Cobra staple together. That's a pretty good analogy. Now there's never a, any reason at all to play Tireless Tracker. If I see a modern list with Tireless Tracker after Nyss is printing, I'm going to lose it. It'll pop up any minute now. Any minute now. Man, Twitch has been having issues. Welcome back for the four months, Zenawan. I appreciate you. I see it, but it's not popping up. My opponent's playing Belcher. I don't know where it'd be Belcher. That's the neat part. You don't. I 
Stomping Ground, Ren and Six. Pause, pick it up, go. We're so slow in Dirtly compared to Belcher. Can be very hard to beat them. I need to establish Ren and Six beside you post board. Oh, look, it's one of my least favorite cards on Magic Online. Recross the pads. Card just takes so long to resolve. <laughs> Bim bam, less than bing bong. Yeah, BRB gonna take five minutes to resolve this card. Well, I suppose in the meantime, we'll get this Esper deck downloaded. Opponent's probably gonna spend a few minutes doing whatever. Wow, I have none of these cards. What is Cunning Night Bonder? I've never heard of this. Spells with Flash cost one less to cast and can't be countered. Autumn the Fury. Never even heard of that card before. Well, I imagine we're dead. No acceleration with the sand. Sand was good if, like, the opponent went Ragavan on one. They were playing some sort of interactive deck, and then we had a chance. Then playing a combo deck's like a little bit too much. Ritual, ritual. Iron drag. Spliced. Ritual. I give up. Okie dokie. Force of Vigor, Besaju. I think that's it, right? I got Lightning Bolt and Fury. I guess we can keep in a couple of Furies. I don't like that. I don't think Veil vale Summer is good against them. They have like Pact of Negation sometimes. I don't think they're going to bring in Pact of Negation against us. And has no Besaju and no Ren. I'm gonna mulligan it. There's Ren Besaju. The ultimate wing con for this matchup. Oh, I guess I should have suspended Surge on one. That was a minor mistake. Hope it doesn't come back to bite me. It will. And don't worry, it will. Spend go. Opponent not happy about that one. Yeah, they bought it right now. <laughs> the bridge. Oh, look, now it's one mana. Thanks, Nissa. Down sad in the immense sadness. They get Thalia get rug in the chests. Uh, let me see. Thalia get rug. I have two. Okay, fine. I'll buy Nissa. <laughs> yes, another disciple. Hmm. No Besaju, no Ren. Besaju. Gonna keep it, put back the Fury. Now we need a rent. No problem. Red, red, ritual. Ritual. Manamorphose Belcher. I get a Besaju Belcher. I'm actually probably gonna force a vigor that Belcher. And then Besaju their land. Fetch this stupid shelter thicket so I don't draw it. Stupid, ugly, shelter thicket. Yeah, I thought they could get away with that one. Another FOV. Yeah, green force oil, green sinkhole. <laughs> That's a good way to put it. Alright, not happy about this. Not happy at all about this. I guess I top a fetch land if I see it. Really just need like another Besaju here. Be able to snipe that red source. 
Maybe I don't top a fetch. Maybe I'm just looking for specifically Beseju. Endurance doesn't shuffle the deck. Endurance shuffles the bottom. Explore. Probably have to just go Bloodbraid Elf here. This is not going to cut it. Oh, Bloodbraid in this, huh? Yeah, they probably got us here. No, like, if I snipe the red source right, then they can not cast Reforge the Soul. That's what I really care about. I think we're going to die now. Sadness. Now, so far, this is the worst Nissa deck we've played. Such is the nature of Titan Shift, I suppose. Amulet Titan. Titan on Titan. Copy Amulet. We are going to be relying on those Force of Vigors. So hard, post board. I could play another land drop for some reason. I thought this was like Azusa. I like clicked it and I was like, why didn't it go? And then I could play it on the battlefield. I'm scooping to a Titan. Amuleto no Titan. Show me the Titan, I'll give up. Don't need to make all this excess mana. That was Timeless Lotus, that's why. Janini. Oh, right. Okay. Casual Emrakul. Basaju, Force of Vigor. Take Lightning Bolt and Fury out, probably. I don't want Ratchet Bomb. Yeah, I think Ratchet Bomb is mostly just for creativity. We got a Force of Vigor, so we're going to keep it. I don't think I'm going to suspend Search, because I'm probably just going to pitch Search. When the time comes, if they go like Urza Saga Amulet, I'm just going to pitch Search. I'd rather have the Dryad in hand, so I'm not going to suspend the Search. Yeah, I scoop to a spaghetti titan, I guess. I'll wait for them to copy here. Do some shenanigans. This build loses even harder to force a vigor. So I think the longer we sit on this, the better it's going to be. I get one floating. Copy. Ancient stirrings, then copy. They got a Lotus Field, and then they played a second amulet. I think I'm just going to nuke both these amulets. Play Ren here, and then pick up a land. Play it past the turn. Are you out of amulets? Or do you have more amulets? Alright, they give up. Evidently out of amulets, fresh out of omelets, used all your eggs, now you can't make an omelet. It's got a force of vigor in it, I'm going to keep it, even though it's six lands force of vigor. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Give me a green card. All I want is a green card. On deck, I believe. Deck, you're failing me. Tumble or is this saga? Let me blow them up. <laughs> oh, they're gonna let me blow them up. All right, upkeep. I have actions to take. Upkeep. Blow them up. Okay, bros. All is well. 
I'm slowly getting some Nissa so I can give you back yours. Got two so far. Play that and we'll play Mountain. One has got nothing. Okay, I need another Force of Vigor now. Third copy of Force of Vigor. Dryad. Womp womp. No. No. This light line's problematic. What I wouldn't do for a second copy of Force of Vigor, or a third copy of Force of Vigor, even a Basaju. And I guess I could shoot their threats, which is fine. No, no. I'll play one fetch and I'll hold the other. No, no, go. The other threats are like Golos and Emrakul, which are just going to be like impossible to kill without them getting value off of it. Mm hmm, mm hmm. A million mana. Timeless. See what they tutor up here. I got a lotus field. That might be the worst way I've seen deckless butchered. Hilarious though. All right. You get no golos. Just gonna like play another Golos. Escape the wilds. They hit Timeless Lotus. Ah, we're so dead. We're so dead. I think rather than watch them go through the motions, we could probably safely scoop it up and go play Esper Flash. That's what I'm thinking. I know, I haven't, I don't think I need OBS right now. I haven't found a deck I want to play Aubin yet, besides the Anvil deck, which I already played. I'll probably wait and pick them up later. Alright, well while my opponent pops off, I'm going to go grab cards for the Esper deck. Errant Giada, Spontaneous Mutation. Okay, let me grab these cards while our opponent pops off, because we're probably going to end up dropping this league. Spontaneous. Spontaneous Combustion, Spontaneous Mutation times 3, Slither Wisp times 4, Errant and Giada times 2, then Cunning Night Bonder. Never seen this card before in my life. $1.75. This item, Errant and Giada, can't be rented. Errant and Giada. Apparently, I can't get the promo art. I'll get the boring art. I lived? I didn't think I'd make it this far. Trophy of the Dredge, hell yeah. I did not think I was going to live. This grazer will die in a volcano of fire. <laughs> How much damage you said to get this? Oh, you know, 20. Grazer did not live that day. Rest in peace, Grazer. I will also die in a fiery volcano, but not actually shoot myself. Nope. No damage to myself. Damn. 
Oh, I'm so sore, Jet. Ugh. I forget. What? They gave me one errant Giada? I'm just gonna go buy the other one. No way we get to untap? Probably not. Not much we can do about it, though. And bang. I can't even F6 either because I have a wooded foothills I can crack and theoretically kill something. More timeless lotus. Alright, go bots. I need an errant and Giada from you. Pick 11 tickets. Oh boy. Selling bulk. What creature's coming down is the Nemercool, the secondary ley line, and the passing of the turn. No way we get to untap, right? Evidently we got to untap. I guess I missed the way. I didn't think I was going to get to untap either. I guess I shouldn't always know. I guess I have to click these one at a time. One and set, three. Kill me, opponent. Do it. You've done like five. <laughs> Been like five storm the festivals. How am I not dead? So many things kill me. Surprisingly, I don't think Emrakul's one of them. What the hell? They cast like four ancient stirrings. I was ready to move on to the next deck. I thought we were just gonna get ruled. It's a one lander. I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna suspend search for tomorrow. I'm on the draw. Hope you fine. And it's drawn. We're not gonna be fine anymore. Sage you for your second land. What the hell? Punished. Punished. About to draw the fourth lightning bolt. Alright, well, I'm gonna start sending these bolts upstairs. Cityscape Leveler. Well, I think Larry's gonna end us. I wonder if there's a world where we're supposed to, like, double bolt Fury. Larry? Probably not. Maybe?
Fury, I could Fury Fury leveler. So bad. <laughs> so bad. Alright, whatever. I have to. I've been the bulls to keep the stupid Bloodbraid Elf. I'm not winning this game by, like, bolting him out. Larry's gonna come back from the graveyard and kill my Nissa. I'm gonna take eight. Then I have to find an answer to whatever follow-up threat that they have. Unless they're gonna play something else, like an Ugin. Casual five for one. Instantly scooping to an Ulamog. Can never beat that. Yeah, it gets exiled at the end step, but I have to find, like, an answer to the follow-up threat that they have after that. Whatever it may be. I give up. I surrender. Paseju. Force of Vigor. Fury out. Bolt out. Take more Force of Vigor. I guess I leave in a couple of Furies. Looking kind of doomed. Matchup doesn't seem very good for us. But neither did the amulet matchup. And we somehow won it. I feel like if my opponent was on traditional amulet last match, they would have just murdered me. Bolt better than Fury. Yeah, I guess it kills Karn, right? Yeah, Bolt's probably better than Fury. It does get to kill Karn cheaper. For cheaper. I think both of them are really bad in this matchup, though. But at the same token, Fury attacks when they have nothing. It's tough. I think both of them suck. <laughs> These are both cards that I tend to board out against Tron all the time. Force of Vigor, Beseju, and Six Lands. Do I believe in my ability to draw Ren and Six? Not really. I'm gonna mulligan this hand. Keep that, put back a Titan. Tron is mulliganing to five. Maybe we have a chance if they go to five or four. Looks like they're keeping five if they're tanking. Shock this, explore, rip a forest. I'll get the blood braid next turn. Maybe that nets us something good. Copium. I'll save the fetch land in case we had a dryad. Or a Nissa. We do get a dryad. Let's just play my extra land drop while I'm here. Okay, if we rip a land, we're in good shape. I'd also prefer them not to have, like, a Karn. Good start. They don't have Natty Tron. Sylvan's crying, okay. The land wins us the game. Let's check that prelim. 1-0, sweet. I guess I'm playing this. Uh, I'm not really playing around an O-Stone effect. They have an O-Stone effect. It's fine. Just gonna play the Nissan pass. So I can crack the fetch next turn and then make mana if they have nothing. But they don't have nothing. They're going to have 9 mana. Cityscape leveler? Oh boy. Okay. You change the Danish law such that you can gamba. Yeah, I got you. Let me call up legislature. Not much sadness. Stupid freaking forest. I might be able to kill them still. Opening aftermath packs is straight value. I wonder what the EV is right now on aftermath packs. I think that might be going at my Valakut, but I'm not 100% sure. I went at my Ren. Hmm. I think land wins it for me. I just get mountain, mountain, kill Karn, kill Karn, go upstairs. Alright, let me see these aftermath boosters. 
Aftermath boosters have an EV of 2.38. About $200 away from the store, and they got 287 tickets from GoBots. Hmm. Value. Barn. Minus. Get. Bridge. Play bridge. Fetch land wins me the game. Ren, fetch land, Baseju, Force of Vigor. That'll do. Always lucky. I'm back. No changes. Are the packs 250 or 275? I don't remember now. I'm going to keep this in. They're mulliganing to 5 or 250. So you can actually make 40 cents per pack just by selling it to GoBots right now. But the EV is about 240. I think I'm going to kill that. Bye, Nissa. I could have waited until their upkeep. But I should have done. Do you have new emotes? Mm -hmm. Explore, land, dryad, never land, relic. It's okay, Slayer. I'm sure somebody will bless you with a gifted sub. Optic? Oh. I just want lands. No lands. And there it is. Just like that. Burnt. Thank you for helping out a homie. And I appreciate that as well. Thank you, Burnt. Oh, I just need lands. Oh, double dryad's not the worst. Only mostly the worst. Let's draw a land this turn. I'm going to have Tron online next turn. Best I can do, another card that needs lands to function. Go to bed, Mr. Rabe. It's like 3 a.m. I can almost cast the Titan. Almost. I can almost not get Ulmogged. Sleeping with me in the background. Go back to bed. Nothing to see here. Just getting modern. <laughs> Nothing interesting here. Wow. Just needed some lands. And all I get is disappointment. Sorry, believers. Tread. Have you peaked? Bing bong, bing bong, bing bing bong. Have you peaked? You're a third rate duelist. I can't take it anymore. <laughs>